Jesus. Anyway, now he gets to run around ACDC. Let's go to his girlfriend's house. Oh, whoops, never mind. No one ever said that. Even though it is, like, implied every possible moment they can get that those two... that at least one of those two wants to get with the other. And, of course, following cliché fashion, one of them is totally oblivious to the other one's moves. If you didn't know, it's the idiot. The main character. Anyway, this is a new chip called Barrier. It's not new, it's actually been in the series for like... I think the entire time. Barriers... take in so much damage before they fade away. And 10 HP practically means one attack and it's gone. Yeah, that's pretty much all it means. I'm pretty sure every virus does at least 10 damage per hit. Oh jeez, five more minutes. Now the whole point of you being out in ACDC is to talk to all these annoying people that want to tell you stuff that you probably knew already, even if you're new to the game. To the series, you probably already knew all this crap. Because it's just so blatantly obvious. It's not like they tried to hide it from you or anything. They wanted you to know this, yet these people still want to tell you all this. Yai's house. The local multi-trillion... Yeah, she's probably a multi-trillionaire. Just say, yup. Because you don't want to talk to her. I don't like talking to the fat man. Walk over, rock around him. No, we don't want to talk to him. Shut up, you... Oh, God. Did the game really put me inside of Dex? That's creepy. Actually, no. It's more like I went through Dex and he was inside of me instead. Which just sounds wrong. He was inside of land. I'm nowhere near these people. I don't even know what the place that they're called is. I don't even know what that place is called. Except ACDC, that's all I know. Higsby shop is closed. Well, let me in. Look at the squirrel. Stupid squirrel, I wanna punch it. You also notice the park change from Battle Number 3 to 4. Who simplified it? And there's nobody else to talk to except these two little punks. And this little punk reminds me of something I forgot. Something about what? Regular chips. Regular chips, yes! The regular system, which they implemented in... Battle Network... 3? I swear, Battle Network 3 was the transition game. It had, like, everything from the entire series in it. Even before the rest of the series came with it. it had the style system of Battle Network 2. It had the ad system still, which is... Ridiculous in Battle Network 1. Battle Network 1 was super easy. Uh, what else did Battle Network 3 have? It had the Navi customizer stuff. Yeah, Battle Network 3 had about just a mix of what's in everything else. It, had, it even started this whole thing, the regular memory. But of course, the only chips that I can actually use as my regular chips suck. So no, I'm not using it. Now. View data for battle chips in the data library. I could have sworn I've done that at least five or six times by this point in time. I don't know what that kid means by we, because I ain't gonna see him again. I hope. Until the end of time. Anyway. Yeah, Lan's dad is a workaholic. I swear, if Lan's dad could live at his job, he would. Actually, he does. He, so, you know... Skip that mess. I don't even know how they keep enough money in the house to live. I guess the government does it. Yeah, it's the government. Anyway, this is finally drawing to a close at last. In Elec Town. And no, don't think of Elec Man. It just means Electronics Town. Okay, this code for Mega Man uh, Battle Chip Challenge, I think it's called. Which is not... It, it's part of... I don't know how you can fit this in. If you played Battle Networks 1, 2, and 3, but haven't played 4 yet, 
then you notice that it has the same graphics as uh, Battle Networks 1, 2, and 3. The same characters, the same sprites, same chips and everything. It's a different kind of game, plays off a different system. It's actually not that bad a game, but uh, I think it's a little, uh, it's unorthodox. Definitely unorthodox, yeah. It's different. And if you like change, go ahead and try it. It's not bad. It involves strategy. So if you don't like thinking, well then don't play it. But of course, if you don't like thinking, then why on earth are you even playing this game? Anyway, sub chips. Full energy, sneak run on trap. Full energy gives you all your HP. Sneak run. Any viruses weaker than you stay gone. Untrap stops trap stops uh, trap mystery data from being so dangerous. Yeah. Because you can find mystery data with viruses inside. And that'll kill the virus and give you the mystery data. Without having to go through all the virus battle. And this is the last cutscene I'm gonna show. Join last uh, last home store. They go in the electronics store for an hour. And I don't think they bought anything. <sighs> I don't know when that happened, but apparently they need light bulbs. So he's going back in. We get a break. No, actually, we don't get a break. Even though I'm about to close, you know, I'll see you guys next time. Mega Man, Godlander 4. It's probably the third or fourth part by now, though, so see ya.